Hey you, welcome back to Learn Python Programming for Complete Beginners in 2019, the latest edition. We're gonna talk about while loops, okay? And basically while loops are different kinds of loops, but loops in programming are you can keep doing stuff over and over again without having to write code over and over again. In the next video, we're gonna talk about something called for loops. In this video, we're gonna talk about something called while loops, okay? So while loops, you don't know when something is gonna end, that's when you use while loops for. For example, okay, I don't know how many push-ups I can do, so I can write a while loop and I can say something like, while Kazi not tired, keep doing push-ups. Basically, I can like go like this and just basically keep going, right? This is like a while loop. Like if I'm doing push-ups, right? Yeah. This is part of a while loop. I don't know how many. I stopped. Okay, while loop is over. Over. So basically, it's something like I would write in code, while Kazi not tired, keep going. And then when Kazi tired, stop. What might that look like, right? And I can go, while Kazi turtle, okay? Let's say Kazi is equal to happy. Okay, so while Kazi is happy, keep making the turtle go forward. And then as soon as Kazi is sad, stop the turtle from going forward. Okay, so while Kazi equal equal happy, right, then I can say turtle, Kazi, sorry, underscore turtle dot forward by let's say 10. Okay, so keep going. Man, I'm pretty much gonna comment out everything else because uh, I'm not gonna be using it right now. Okay, so let's run this code and let's see what it does. It just keeps going unless I stop it, okay? So I have to click stop. Otherwise, the while loop will run infinitely and I'm gonna run into something called infinite loop, okay? So let me try that again. It's gonna, if I run it again, you can see it just keeps going, keeps going. I have to stop it, otherwise my computer is gonna crash. But if I change this to Kazi is sad, Okay, and I run it, it's not gonna run, it has stopped because it goes, well check if Kazi equal equal sad. And this statement is gonna either evaluate to true or false. And because it evaluated to false, because Kazi is not sad, Kazi it says is happy right here, it goes, oh, I'm sorry, I don't know what the hell you're talking about. And two equal sign means that you're checking something with another thing, okay? So for example, uh, let me hit, um, comment on this, comment on this, and comment on this. If I do five equal equal five, it's gonna say, and I go to console and I run this, what is it gonna say? Nothing, because I have to write print. So let me make sure I write print and I run it. And you can see over here, it says true, all right? So that is true. It's, this is, a, this is called the uh, equality operator. It's checking between two things. This is the assignment operator. So if I do this, this will give me an error because it'll say you can't assign five to five. All right, that's an error. But I can do a is equal to five, but I can't say five is equal to five, but I can check if five is equal to five. All right, just like this is a, a operator for checking stuff as well. Like a is five greater than five. Is five equal to five? Is five less than five? So on and so forth, okay? We're gonna go more into this later, but this is an example of a while loop. It's something that can keep going unless the condition changes, okay? Unless the condition changes. And there's a way to stop the while loop as well. You can write a statement like break and break out of it, but that's something I'm gonna show you guys later. Now, I'm gonna keep the while loop part simple because the next part I'm gonna show you is gonna be why you should be using for loops majority of the times, almost all of the times, and while loops a lot less. You should really be using while loops if you don't know when something's gonna end. So an example of that would be, you know, I told this in uh, one of my courses, but basically I said there was this one time where I was on an airplane and I was sitting next to this girl and I was like, you know, what's the best way to pass time? So I created this game called Tic-Tac-Toe and I thought, okay, how can we keep playing until it ends? Because every time we would play this game of tic-tac-toe or rock, paper, scissors, it would come to an end. Then I have, to, I have to run the program all over again. So I wanted to do something where it kept the game going until I specifically said quit the game, okay? 
So this way, every time we would finish a game rock, paper, scissors, it would just start the next one, next one, until I hit Q. So for that, because I don't know how long we're gonna keep playing, we can keep playing for 10 minutes, 30 minutes, we ended up playing 100 games. So for that, it was really useful to have a, I wrapped the entire game in a while loop so the, key, the game can just keep playing over and over again. I had the whole thing in a while loop so the game can actually keep playing over and over again. That was the really awesome part about it and that's how you use while loops in real life. And in this video, I just gave you a little example of it. In the next video, we're gonna cover for loops. With that said, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Really helps out the channel. Subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification so all the upcoming new videos come straight to you come straight to your face you're gonna enjoy them you're gonna love them as always i love your face and i'll see you in the next video